name is Micah and welcome back to my beauty journal and today we are going to try something different. I recently watched That's Heart video on clown contouring and I thought, yeah, I would love to try that. So I did my research and I also found out about lip contouring. So today we are going to try both the clown contouring and lip contouring. If you wanted to see how this all works out, then please keep on watching. on as you clearly saw in the intro but I'm going to apply my aloe vera gel as a moisturizer and also as a primer just to act as a barrier against uh, my skin and the makeup so let's do that it's going to take this much and most of my face okay I think I'm ready to start I have few concealers right here that I will use so wish me luck just going to use my real techniques pointed foundation brush to apply this I'm going to start with a peach corrector under my eyes because I am been having less sleep and I need some concealing I need some brightening and concealing this is not picking up the product well so I'm going to draw like a triangle I think I need to use something that could easily be blended. I don't know. Next, I'm going to take this Jassy Photo Ready Foundation. I'm going to take that yellow shade as my lighter concealer. So I'm going to put that on the areas that I wanted to highlight. So, under the eyes. Yes. This is really creamy. I need to highlight the nose, of course. That is too much. That is too wide. Wait, anyway, we'll correct it later with the darker shade. Then, I saw her do like a crescent moon shape right here. And then I'm going to do two lines right there. Because I needed to, you know, highlight that. I'm also going to put that on my chin right here. Yes. And underneath the contour, so... I'm not sure if I'm doing this correctly. But, let's make this art. And art is fun, so let's get artsy. Alright. Then I'm going to take a green concealer to counteract the redness on my cheeks then on the sides of the nose actually the whole mouth area <laughs> I'm looking at myself on the monitor and it looks funny it looks funny I forgot to put like a lighter concealer here because you know we need to highlight the brow bone though okay now i'm taking the darker color and i'm going to put that on places where i want to contour so, so here at the temples why isn't it transferring oh there we go so then at the temples this is heavy by the way because i'm using all cream products and it feels heavy and then i'm going to put it right here because you know we're going to contour that area Okay, next we need to put on some blush. This is the Happy Skin Lip and Cheek Mousse. This is in Fall in Love. So I'm going to apply that here. And in a circle. Let's make it a circle. Because there you go. Circle. How do I look? Ah, I look crazy though. Okay, so now that we look like a clown, let's start blending. So I'm gonna start blending the lighter areas. Ah, okay, my my cheek color transferred, so Okay, I'm going to blend that out now. I'm not sure if I'm doing this correctly guys, but yeah, let's just keep blending. Keep tapping, just keep tapping. The basic concept is to keep tapping. My cheek color, my cheek color though, it transferred everywhere. I think I put too much. Okay, need to go in the eyes. Okay, let's go in this more. Okay, 
see so everything has been blended out and to be honest i am not sure how this is translating on the camera because i believe some of the products i use have flashback and i'm using artificial lighting but it does work i mean aside from the fact that i messed up the blush i mean i applied too much product that's why it's smeared all over i do have contour highlight i love the effect to be honest this is a thumbs up this is really nice heart was right this works i love how my face looks but let's set it i'm going to set just because i have oily skin i am using the city color hd powder i'm gonna set my face with this powder just before before we move on to the lip contouring but yeah this definitely works i mean it does offer full coverage my face looks pretty flawless i'm not sure if it, that's translating to the camera as i said This has been mattified now with powder or cornstarch. I feel like this product, it's so grainy and it reminds me of cornstarch. But anyways, let's move on to the lip contouring. The first step is to erase, kind of erase the natural lip color with a foundation. So I'm just going back to that jazzy foundation and using my beauty blender to erase the color of my lips. Now you will need a lip liner, a natural lip liner closest to your color, and you have to overline your lips. But do not overdo it. I think you just need to line it on the area where there is like this white part above the lips. So I am going to do that. Okay, that's what it looks like after it has been overlined and I think overlining alone really makes your lips look bigger but I saw that what she did was she took a darker color foundation and she said that to pout and then where the natural creases you have to define it even more with the concealer I'm going back to that chassis this one I think this will be dark enough for that Okay, so let's line. So that's what it looks like. I can't take myself seriously right now. Then, in between those lines, you have to fill it in with a lighter shade. So I'm just gonna do that with this one. And that's what your lips would look like <laughs> then she said that you need a lip color that is sheer enough that the lines would still peek through but opaque enough to cover it and I am not sure what really to use but I'm just going with my essence XXXL long-lasting lip gloss this is in the shade soft nude she said it's just apply it very carefully do not smack your lips together or you know press them together because well the lines will be ruined so let's try okay so this is what it looks like after applying the gloss and okay i am not sure if i'm not sure about this if it really works i think overlining the lips would really make your lips like bigger i don't think it's necessary to do the lines whatever if you wanted an illusion that your lips are bigger you just apply lip gloss on the center and then apply a highlight and contour right here so that it looks pouty but yeah the lip contouring failed but the clown contouring though thumbs up so yeah that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it it is something new and i just wanted to try it for fun so i hope you had fun as well please thumbs up and do not forget to comment subscribe i will see you guys on my next one bye and today i am just going to share with you a few items that i got for the past few weeks and troopster is gonna 
help me. Mm -hmm. Ow. 